Good morning guys and welcome to my channel Mind Your Math. We are going to learn the next part of the trigonometry chapter which is trigonometric identities. Now there are three identities which you need to memorize and also learn how to apply it to the sums. Now we learned the identities. We also learned how we have arrived or how we have derived these identities from the basics of a right angle triangle and then we will do a few sums from the textbook and from the reference book so that you people can understand how you can apply these identities in order to simplify the sums that will be given to you. See most of these sums will be proving sums so you need to know how to manipulate these identities as well as the trigonometric ratios so that you finally get the result. Fine now if you like the video press the like button and subscribe to my channel and if you have any clarifications regarding the content of today's class you can drop a comment or mail me at the mail id given below in the description box here you have a right angle triangle which is right angle at b i have named this angle as theta which is angle c and this particular angle as theta one so it is you know that theta theta one all those are basic variables that we are using now let me write down the identities the first one is the relation between sine and a cos which is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Now next one is sec square theta minus tan square theta is 1 and cosecant square theta minus cos square theta is equal to 1. Now these are the three trigonometric identities which are concerned with the angle theta. How will you write the same trigonometric identities for the angle theta 1? We will write it as sin square theta 1 plus cos square theta 1 is equal to 1. Sec square theta 1 minus tan square theta 1 is equal to 1. And cosec square theta 1 minus cos square theta 1 is equal to 1. What do you understand from this? It basically means that Whatever angle is mentioned over here should be mentioned over here also. Similarly, here and here, they should have the same angle. Here as well as here and the same thing you can see. See, it's the same angle that is mentioned. So, we have, when we are checking the identities, please ensure that the angle mentioned over here should be the same. Fine. Now, we will learn how to derive each of these identities and also different manipulations of these particular identities. Let us first prove this identity which is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. From this triangle, I can write sin theta as opposite side by hypotenuse. So my sin square theta becomes the square of this. Cos theta is adjacent side by hypotenuse. The square is this. Now, you know that in a right angle triangle, the first theorem that we always automatically apply is a Pythagoras theorem. So for this particular triangle, it is right angle at B. I can say that hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus altitude square. Fine. Now let me divide the entire LHS and the RHS by AC square. So what do you get? I will get 1 is equal to AB by AC, the whole square plus BC by AC the whole square. Now what is AB by AC? AB by AC is sin theta. AB by AC the whole square is a sin square theta and the second one is a cos square theta. So we have proved that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to A1. Clear? We are just using the basics of the right angle triangle. First one is the Pythagoras theorem. We are right, first writing the Pythagoras theorem, then we are dividing the entire LHS and the RHS by the hypotenuse square. So you get this. What do we need to prove? We need to prove sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So I write what is sin square theta and what is cos square theta and I find that my RHS is actually sin square theta plus cos square theta. Okay. It is a very simple proof which I mean, you don't need to even spend much time in order to understand this. So now let us move on to the second identity. Now let us do the second identity which is 6 square theta minus tan square theta is 1. Just like in the previous case from the same right angle triangle I have written down what is 6 square theta and what is tan square theta based on their definitions. So you can see here. 
This is the Pythagoras theorem as applied over here. Instead of dividing by AC square across, I have divided by BC square. When I am dividing across by BC square, this is what I am getting. Now, when you compare the terms on LHS and RHS with the definitions over here, you can see that sec square theta is this and this is tan square theta. So, you will get sec square theta is equal to tan square theta plus 1. Rearranging, you will get the second identity as well. Now, guys, once you write the Pythagoras theorem, if you are having a doubt regarding the term with which you have to divide the LHS and the RHS, what should you do? You should look at the definition of the trigonometric terms in the identity. And the denominator here is BC square. So, you have to divide by BC square across. Okay. That is how you should actually find out the term which you should be dividing LHS and RHS with. This is our third identity, cosec square theta minus cot square theta is 1. In order to prove that, I have written down what is cosec square theta and what is cot square theta from this particular triangle. And this is our Pythagoras theorem. Now, which term should I use for dividing the LHS and RHS? I told you, check the denominator of the terms. It is AB square. So, I am going to divide that particular Pythagoras statement by AB square across, thus giving us AC by AB, the whole square is equal to AB by AB, the whole square plus BC by AB, the whole square. Okay. Now, AB by AB is a 1. What is BC by AB, the whole square? It is cot square theta and AC by AB, the whole square is a cosec square theta. So, rearranging you will get cosec square theta minus cot square theta is equal to a 1. This is how you derive these three identities very basic use the Pythagoras theorem and the definition of the identities from the right angle triangle. Divide accordingly and rearrange the terms. Now we have learned the identities and how to prove them. Now let me ask you a question. Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Now I am asking you is this true for all angles from 0 degree to 90 degree? Now, when we normally say about the identities, we just, you know, go on saying sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1, c square theta plus minus tan square theta is equal to 1, etc, etc. Without even thinking whether it is applicable to all the angles. Now, when I am telling all the angles, I am talking only about the angles from 0 to 90 degree. You people already know that. Let us see whether this particular identity is valid for all angles within this prescribed range. Let us start with 0 degree because we are always worried about the end points. The middle values follow smoothly. Okay, so we are always worried about the 0 degree and the 90 degree values. So, sin 0 is a 0. So, it is a proper value. Cos 0 is a 1, no problem with it. Sin 90 is a 1 and cos 90 is a 0. So, none cos 90 is a 0. None of the values are undefined values. So, I can say that the identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 is valid for all angles from 0 degree to 90 degree without any exceptions. So, if I am writing sin square 0 plus cos square 0 is equal to 1, it is absolutely correct. So, mathematically, I can write sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 is valid for this. Right from when theta is equal to 0 to all the values till theta is equal to 90 degree, I can use this identity. Now, let us check the validity of the second identity. 6 square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. Let us check the validity of this particular identity for 0 degree and 90 degree. Now, for 0 degree, you know that 6, 0 is a 1. No problem with that. What about tan 0? Tan 0 basically means it is sin 0 by cos 0. So, 0 by 1, it is a 0. So, I do not have any problem when theta is equal to 0 degree. But what happens when theta is equal to 90 degree? Sec 90 is also undefined and tan 90 is also undefined. So, this particular identity is valid for theta equal to 0 but not valid for theta equal to 90 degree. How will we mathematically represent it? It is valid for theta equal to 0, but once you reach 90, this is not valid. Okay. 
so you need to be very careful when you are learning the identities you need to be you need to know which are the angles that should be excluded when you are using these identities maybe it will not be very useful to you in grade 10 but as you move higher and you are studying maybe for je and other examinations this is something that you need to understand very clearly because at that point of time you will not be dealing only with angles from 0 to 90 but from 0 to 360 and the basics have to be very thorough now let us check the third identity the third identity as you can see is not valid for zero degree but at 90 degree it is valid because we are getting proper values for cosec 90 and cot 90 so how will we write it mathematically this part is okay but this part when theta is equal to zero degree is not okay fine given tan a is 1 by root 3 we need to find all the trigonometric angles we have done similar kind of sums before when we were dealing with the basics so we took the sides as k and k root 3 and then we solved and found the trigonometric angles now in this case we are going to use identities in order to find the value of all the angles so let us start with the basic method and move on to the current method so here i have used k in order to find the value of the other trigonometric angles so initially i used pythagoras theorem used k and i found out the measure of the hypotenuse then i have used the definition of the trigonometric ratios in order to find the value of sine a cos a cos k and the other six and the remaining trigonometric ratios now let us see how we can use identities in order to find these particular values you know that tan a is 1 by root 3 so what is the first trigonometric identity that should come to your mind it's a reciprocal of tan which is a cot a so cot a is a reciprocal of tan which will give you root 3 that is done now what is the identity that uses tan so you know that sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 so when my angle is a sec square a minus tan square a is 1 so sec square a becomes 1 plus tan square a which is a 4 by 3 or i can say ck is equal to 2 by root 3 now when i am taking the square root in this case i am taking only the positive value and not the negative value because all trigonometric ratio values between 0 degree and 90 degree is are always positive so you do not have to take the negative value take the positive value of the square root so you know the value of ck is 2 by root 3 now i can find cos a which is a reciprocal of ck which is root 3 okay now you know that cot a is root 3 you also know the identity cosecant square a minus cot square a is equal to 1 or you can say cosec square a is equal to 4 or cosec a is equal to 2 again only the positive value of the number under the square root so we have found the value of all the trigonometric ratios when cosec a is 2 you know that sin a has to be 1 by 2 okay 